to my channel. My name is Kofi. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. It's right there. Just click the subscribe button and then click the notification button so you get a notification every time I post a video. Well, so, as promised, I told you I was going to make videos about surviving the year of return and having a great time in Ghana. I'm giving you little hacks that you can use to maximize your fun in Ghana. So there's going to be two videos on this right now up on my channel. You can find both of them. I'm going to start with this video. This video is basically surviving year of return. That's what this video is about. And for me, I've been thinking about it. I'm thinking, what do people coming in need to know? And I feel like one of the things they need to know when surviving the year of return is basically transportation. It's like moving around can be tricky. So I'm going to break down how to move around, safety, and all those things. So thing number one about moving around, you need to have either your own car or a car service. You, there are some car services you can pay to rent a car for a day. That even comes with a driver. I know one of that's like $100 a day. I forgot what company it is. But you can act, rent cars and then do all that mess if you want to. But if you're not about that life and you like to use car services, there are three car services that you can use in Ghana. So there's Uber, there's Bolt, and then there is Yango. So, Uber. Uber is... I'm going to tell you what the differences between these car services are and just... Let it lay it all down to you how to use them and all those things. So Uber, Uber is the most expensive of the three car services. There is always a surge. It's December. There's always a surge. Surges go up to up to like two times the price of the original fare. But one good thing about Uber is they always have cars. There are always cars available for you to get. They seldom don't have cars in wherever you're at, especially if you're at a party or something, there's always cars around for you to get. So that's a good thing. Then there's Bolt. Bolt, Bolt also has fairly moderate prices. Bolt is the median between these two. Because Yango is very cheap. Uber is... Okay, you know what? I won't even say very cheap. It's mostly like a four-seater difference. Because um, Uber can be two cities more than a Bolt. And a Bolt will be like two cities or a city more than a Yango. So basically, it actually depends on who, like where you're getting it from and where you're going. So, number one, bolts are great. Good pricing. Two, bolts, most drivers that drive for Uber also drive for bolts. So bolt, they, are, they have a lot of cars. Bolts has a, a number of cars that you can actually use. And it's seldom you don't get a, a bolt car when you're out. So that's great. Then Yango. Yango has the best prices. They are really cheap. And the problem with Yango is, one, not if they don't have enough drivers, so sometimes it's hard to get a car. Two, Yango is... Um, how do I put this? They don't accept card payments. And card pay... That's, for me, it's a problem sometimes, because sometimes you just don't have cash and you want to use your card, or you have cash, but you still want to use your card because you don't... Your cash, your liquidity to be reduced, basically. So, that's those three apps. Also, the similarity between all these three apps is they are all mostly here cantos. All the cars are this big. They're tiny little shoe boxes, so don't think you're going to squeeze and four of your girlfriends into the back like a sex and city moment. It's going to be hella comfortable. If you're more than four people, you need to get two. Then, yeah, so that's it. Another important thing you need to have on your phone is Google Maps. Google Maps is as relevant in wherever you're coming from, America, Europe, whatever. It's as relevant there as it's relevant here. You can find restaurants, you can find locations, you can use to figure out where traffic is, dodging traffic and all those things. So you need to get uh, Google Maps, especially if you don't live here or if you haven't been here for a while. Ghana's always changing. There's new things happening. There are new roads being done. So you need to update basically yourself. And Google Maps is the best way. People live here even use Google Maps on a daily basis because it's easier. It's easier to find things when you're using Google Maps. So now that you have your Google Maps on your phone, you have your apps, let's go into specific details on how to use them.
So using a car service here is not for the faint of high. It's the most frustrating thing. Uber drivers, taxify drivers, yeah, Google drivers, oh wait, both drivers are rebranded. They are the most irritating. They never know where to pick you up. They, one time I took a boat, and this was like two days ago. I took a boat, but the boat was at the location, the drop off location. Dropped somebody off there, and then told me he was outside. And I told him, Nick, I told him, like, you're out, you're at the drop off location, you're not at the pickup location. So I had to end the trip. So things like this happen all the time. Um, they don't like car trips. I don't know why they don't like car trips. Well, I know why they don't like car trips. But it's so irritating because sometimes you just want to pay with the card. So you should keep that in mind just in case the driver doesn't like car trips. You can end the trip, request again, get him, and then pay with cash. Then they hate GPS. Um, it's in their phone. They know how to use it, but they hate it because apparently the GPS doesn't work. But somehow, everybody moves around Ghana with GPS, like, but they'll tell you it doesn't work, they can't find you, it doesn't work, so also you need to find, basically know where you're at, so that it's easier to direct them, and you follow them on the app, so that if they go in the wrong direction, you can call them up and tell them to go the other way. Also, another thing is, get ready for Uber cancellations, get ready for boat cancellations, get ready for all the cancellations, darling, because they're going to be cancelling on you all the time. Also, you might do a little bit of walking. Because, that, let me tell you, it's so crazy here in December, like, if you're going to go to a location, and that's going to be in the next video where I talk about the nightlife, if you're going to be at a location, there's hella possibility that there's traffic. There's been times where I'm going to the club, and I have to park, like, three blocks away. Like, you literally have to end your trip three blocks away and walk to the club because it's so packed and people are driving and there's no way you're going to get to the club in the next five minutes. Even though you're literally five minutes away from the club, you cannot get into the club in five minutes. You've probably been in traffic for like a good 30 minutes, maybe an hour. So you need to just get out and walk. Sorry to the ladies who are going to wear heels, but it says that's the reality here. Walking is going to be part of your portion. Unless you get to every location very early and get good parking. Which is, of course, advisable. But who wants to show up at the party early? Nobody. So yeah, that is it. What else, what else, what else do you need to know? Let me go into my notes, guys. I had a cute little notes written up for you guys. Traffic everywhere. Yes, safe team. So, Ghana is relatively safe, if you ask me. There's been so many times I've passed out in an Uber. Well, not passed out, but falling asleep in an Uber, and I've been completely fine. They got me home. But I guess that's not safe, because people have even told me that it's not safe. So, what I would suggest you do is either you buddy up, so you have a buddy you can sleep in turns, or you can also just be awake and follow the driver with your Google Maps, make sure he's going in the right direction, make sure he's not trying to kidnap you. And, yeah, that should be that should be fine. I feel like nobody really gets kidnapped here. It's not really a dangerous situation. But if you feel like you need to, which I advise you should, then follow the, the right on your Google Maps. Yeah. Um, last, well, last but not the least is taxis. So you can get normal car services, that's Uber, Bull, Yango, outside, or at locations on your phone, but then you need to get, um, sometimes you need to get a taxi from outside, because taxis are way less stressed, they are right there, but also taxis are tricky because taxis are more expensive than actual Ubers. Like, especially if you're out at night and you're in the club, they try to take advantage of that and will also charge you basically a surge. So two to, two to like maybe three times the price. So you should be very conscious when dealing with these taxi drivers and you should also make sure you bargain. Check what the price is on your Uber app and try to bargain so at least as close as you would an Uber or taxi for our boat. And then that's how much you should pay. Because if you don't, you end up paying more than you actually should and wasting a hell of money. So that's basically about it for, yeah, 
for moving around in Ghana, it's not that difficult. It's quite easy. Make sure if you want to leave wherever you are at, you start getting your Ubers 20 to 30 minutes before you have to leave just so that you, one, you miss the surge and two, you get a car that's coming to get you ASAP. Sometimes they come from afar, so 10 minutes afar and it's going to take them a while to find you. So you just need to get your car earlier than you actually intend to leave. And, um, yeah, make sure you call them. Calling them is very important. If you don't call them, they probably won't come and get you. So you need to call them. Get a Ghanaian SIM. Make sure you always have credit on you so they can load data and have internet on you at all times. Because if not, you're not going home. You literally be stuck. Or, well, you can go back in outside. But if you want a cheaper option, you might as well just do that. And what, what again? That is about it. There's nothing really crazy happening here. So if you follow these little tidbits, I'm sure you'll be able to move around seamlessly. You'll be able to find where you're going. You'll be able to use your Google Maps to get there. you get your car service to pick you up. you get your car service to drop you off safely. And yeah, that's about it. I feel like... No, I'm not missing anything. That's good. So... Thank you very much for watching this video. You can follow me at Kofi Boache everywhere. Facebook and... Wait, did I say Facebook? Well, you can go to Facebook more. You can follow me at Kofi Boache on Twitter and Instagram. You should also watch my other videos. I talk about skincare. I have a couple videos up with my morning, afternoon, and um, exfoliation skincare routine. You should check those videos out. And you should also check the second part of this year of return video, which is the nightlife, where we'll be talking about partying in Ghana and Ghana being the Ibiza of the world. For this and what? No, but summer. Summer is still Ibiza. Ibiza is still summer's Ibiza. So, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.